we start over here in the Dick's Sporting Goods area, the jerseys. They finally got the cartoon James Harden one. We talked about this a little while ago. It's still full retail though. I think at some point we will be able to see this at the outlet or something like that. James Harden's been balling. I like the materials in here. Like the numbers are kind of shiny now. The jersey's pretty dope, but we gotta wait for it to go down a little bit of the price. I'm not trying to pay full retail. You guys know we find things at the outlets at Burlington and Ross are much cheaper than this, but this is definitely dope to see. I was really here to see if we could find some all-star apparel. I've been seeing it online. Everybody's been posting some all-star jackets, some jerseys for their team. We got like five stores to check out. Of course, headlined by those Jordan 13s. Pictures are looking dope. 13s are one of my favorite silhouettes. Even though I don't think I'm going to scoop them up today because I'm waiting for them red fours next week. We got arguably the most anticipated sneaker of 2024, let alone All-Star Weekend. Dropping February 17th for a retail price of 215 bucks. And just in case you were wondering, yeah, you heard me right. They went up $5 on the retail price point. So we finally got a chance to see these guys in person. Adi Zero Select 2.0 is the shoe that Jalen Green wears. Very light shoe. Let's go ahead and try this on and see what it's talking about. Got some pretty firm midsole cushioning, which is light strike. Shoe looks not too bad. Retail is 110 bucks. Let's see if they have them in the 13 to check out. So we're starting this off out the rip with a review and try on of the Adi Zero Select 2.0. Like I said earlier, Jalen Green from the Houston Rockets wears these in a few different colorways, of course. Oh, somebody already tried these on. It is what it is. Let me let me try the other shoe on then. Oh, both of them was tried on. Okay. Let's see what this shoe's actually talking about, how it feels. So there's some ventilation with these perforation holes right here. So this shoe should be pretty breathable, plus it has a mesh tongue as well. And there's some dope colorways of this shoe, but let's check it out on feet. Put my feet all the way to the back. I do have a lot of space right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So a 12 and a half would be ideal. This Adidas shoe is definitely something you could suggest going down a half a size. You want some space to be in a toe box, but not this much space. Like I can slide back and forth in my shoe. I don't think I like that. I do like the way it kind of looks on my feet. That, that part right there is gonna be an issue. There is some cushioning in the midsole. Of course, I have light strike. But yeah, man, this is a cool shoe. Just too big. A, third, a 12 and a half would be perfect for me. So. I recommend going down half a size. Overall, a pretty dope looking shoe here. $110 on the retail. You definitely might be able to find this a little cheaper sooner than later. But uh, let me know what you guys think about the look of the Audi Zero 2.0. I'm telling you, man, this Invincible Run 3 is a great shoe if you guys are looking for a new running shoe, walking shoe. That cushioning is just really, really soft. We've tried these on before. Let me hopefully you got something worthwhile. Let's go see what's up. So their return section is interesting. We saw these at the last trip. Nike, the Grove has these uh, coffee brown Gore-Tex. Jordan 14 for the women's, the iridescent colorway. Now this is a bigger size right here. Kind of interesting because I think these are women's sizes only. They also have the Chinese New Year Jordan 1 Low as well. Nice colorway with good materials on them. Let me know what you guys think about these. Translucent outsole for sure. Rate these from a one to 10. Size eight and a half if anybody was interested. Size 10 and a half on this dunk here. Not an SB dunk, but the materials on it look pretty good. Let me know if you guys are feeling these. Very solid. I don't see no SB Brennan, so these are just regular dunks. Those are SBs, which we have seen here before. Brazils. These ones are pretty solid too. These are not the penguins, are they? No, just kind of remind me of them. I like the color combination on these. Got the like blue transfers and also can't go wrong. Size seven on these though, very smaller size. But this colorway is clean. And I'm a big fan of the Vermeero fives, man. This color combination is not bad on these. Rate them from a one to 10 in the comments below. We got a guy returning some Jordan ones over there too. Wanna to see what he got in this box. But these are definitely pretty solid. Let me know what you think. Metallic gold ones. Then we got the men's sizes over here. Let's go see what we got over here. Um, Dunks galore. Interesting. Seen this Dunk Mid at the last location. Pretty solid color combination. Materials are not bad. Women's side of returns. I don't recall if I've seen this color combination on this Dunk Low Twist. 
not too bad. I do like this color combination on this dunk right here. Gray white with the gum outsole. Pretty clean colorway. We definitely seen these before. All this stuff is things that we have seen. Definitely pretty solid. And then of course this Jordan 1 Low Chinese New Year once again. Very scarce, but it's definitely good. The CDs. I'll take a look at them because I they're coming out I think pretty soon. I think like this weekend coming up, or did it come out today? Metallic gold Jordan 1s, man. These are definitely clean. Are these 85s? Thought these might have been the 85 cut. Not a bad colorway though. The metallic gold definitely shines. Got the gum also. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. Give you guys an early look at them. With some really good material for sure, bro. Fire. Back as we got them. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to picking these up. Now they got blazer mids on deck. I've never seen these before. 100 on the retail. Pretty clean materials and a not bad colorway. Everything else we have seen here before. Not a bad selection of shoes for sure. Back at JD Sports, let's go ahead and see what's inside this store. As soon as you walk in, they have what we came for. Not a bad shoe, you know? I like the light blue on it. I'm not sure what that blue is called. Let me know what you guys think about these 13s in the comments below. They got a full family size run here in case you guys were interested in them. Not a bad situation. A little underwhelming even though I do like 13s, Dunks, Jordan 2 Lows, which we've seen before. Let's see what else they got in here. Navy blue colorway of the 2013s. Much more impressive. I like this one right here. University blue. P6000s with the brown ones and the metallic gold. And we got these orange Vermeero 5s. 9060, different shade on this one. Let me know if you guys are feeling these. I don't know if these were $95 last time we saw them, but 95 on this colorway as well. And both locations are going back to 130 on the retail for this Luca 2. Materials on these Jordan 3s are definitely not bad. They got a bunch left too. Jordan 1 down to 130. Got like this white and gray colorway on the P6000. Retail for these is 110. Some of the apparel marked down from 140 to 95 on this like bubble jacket right here. I guess this might be for women though, but this does look pretty clean. Sadita's original sweater is pretty dope too. Retail 65 bucks on it. Anything on the back? No. I do like the uh, lettering and everything on here, pretty clean. Kind of reminds me of some older merch, like a baseball jersey. A lot of ventilation on this. This uh, Air Max jacket is pretty dope. Got some weight to it too. $105 for both colorways. This black with the blue or the gray with the vault green. Both of those jackets are pretty decent. And this Air Max jacket is $130. Bucks. It still got the blue one on deck, full retail though. This jacket is also pretty dope. I like this one, the puffer jacket. And the forest green one on sale for 140 as opposed to 200. So 140 as opposed to 200 on the forest green colorway. Got some check fleece on sale, 95 and 110 for the different colorways. Let's go ahead and see what they got inside this new champs. So far the lineup's looking the same, but we do got these Air Max 95 down to 80 bucks. And my favorite new colorway out of Air Max Plus TN. That colorway is definitely fire. Normally 140 down to 69 bucks is definitely exciting for this Presto right here. Not sure if we've seen this colorway on the Hirachi. Definitely impressive. I like the gray. Got the uh, mesh right there as well. Not too bad on these. All the same curries that we've seen before, but there are some solid colorways here. Now they got these for 49 bucks, which is dope. Normally 160 for the Cosmic Unity. 49 bucks for this is definitely a steal. That Glendo tax makes it a little higher, but uh, good to see that. Face Clan LeBron NXT down to 110. So far, so good when it comes to this colorway right here. Detailing on the mud guard is also fire. Got the suede or new buck actually on the upper. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this NXT LeBron. For the ladies, they got a new colorway of the 9060 New Balance right here. This pink colorway with the gray midsole, white accents, not too bad. 110 on the retail. In my opinion, definitely one of the better John Morant's, but unfortunately, it's only gray school. Color combination is just wild. 
So now we got some Trey Young twos down to 39 bucks. Pretty much the same price you see at Ross and Burlington. However, you get the full box with these at least. Normally 150 down to 49 bucks for this burgundy and gray colorway on the NMD. Just had to show them because they're 29 bucks. Normally 95 dollars. That's a pretty good steal. Back here at Shoe Palace Glendale. Definitely a good basketball selection here as always, and we got a new sneaker to talk about. Yeah, these are pretty dope though, man. Not mad at the color combination on them. Rate these from a one to 10. Do you see yourself adding to your collection? 180 on the retail for these pennies. Definitely see them in certain places much cheaper. Purple suede, very clean LeBron, Nike Zoom generation. And there are so many colorways out. I'm not sure if this one is available yet. Let me know if you guys have seen it before or have we talked about it. Gray with the cell midsole, 160 on the retail. The two latest releases right here. Both of these are dope, Jordan 13s and the Jordan 3s behind it. Let me know if you guys picked up either one of these or are you waiting just for the 14s or the 4th? Not mad at this one here. Definitely gives off some fall winter vibes. Zoom the comfort, the comfort too. Fall vibes on these. Let me know if you guys are feeling them or not. PSG 312 Legacies. Not mad at these at all. Witcher Orpers Jordan 6 is still here. Not going anywhere anytime soon. 99 bucks on these. Coffee brown with the suede. Definitely pretty dope. NMDs down to 79 bucks. Trey Young 3 is still 49 bucks on these, normally 140. Women's selection is the same at every other spot. Nothing really different here. Sometimes there are some colorways that stand out, but we're seeing some of the same stuff. They still got these Jordan 2s here for 99 bucks. Now this might be something new. I don't recall seeing this colorway anytime soon on the women's side. 110 for the Jordan 1 low. And then I do like this colorway of the mids, which we've seen a few times around. These blazers, these SB blazers are pretty dope, man. 110 on the retail. Materials is crazy. If y'all know about these, give us some history. Transfers and also too. These are dope. These SB blazers are pretty nice too. Good materials and the color combination, that navy blue, white, and gray. Definitely pretty dope, bro. These are clean. And like I said, there's like some meaning behind that Vans logo. It's like the divide symbol and the answer button and it equals 420. Have you guys ever heard of that? I've seen something about that on TikTok. That Vans logo, the V is actually the division sign, and there's a button on the calculator for answer, and you put them together or something like that, it equals 420. Let me know if you guys have even seen that TikTok. And they do have a pretty good selection here of just really casual, comfortable shoes. Never seen an Ultra Boost with this material and this colorway. This is definitely pretty solid right here. This Borders place definitely has some good colorways of some shoes that we see other places. I haven't seen these right here. Purple, brown, kind of reminds me of the Gore-Tex Jordan 6 as far as the color combination. Pretty dope. I like these with the good leather material. Got the upside down Adidas logo on the side, giving us some more character. And this colorway is also solid as well. Let me know if you guys are feeling any one of these form lows here at Borders. Got 50% off on this uh, form high, which is dope, you know? Kind of glad I stepped in here. I always walk past the store every time I leave Shoe Palace. And I was like, let me go see if they got some shoes that might be interesting in here, form lows. They got a lot of things we've seen in some other colorways that are pretty nice. I like this one, some good materials on that as well. Got the form high, shiny black leather. Pretty clean on these as well. Vans off the wall. Welcome by Journeys and seeing this new colorway of the Superstar. Black with the purple accents. You definitely can't go wrong with these, bro. 99 bucks in the retail. Believe it or not, I had a couple people ask me to take a look at these again. 150 on the retail for all of them. I couldn't remember that. I didn't know if it was 150, 160. All of these sketch of basketball shoes or I guess Snoop Dogg's basketball shoes are 150 bucks all colorways and styles so far i mean i don't know if they're going to take on i think they might have one or two people in the uh all-star game representing sketchers well julius Randle, did he get selected i don't remember if he got selected and he's injured he's not playing or what but 
Stop by Adidas because I've seen this campus low from the window. 110 bucks on the retail. I like this color combination for sure. Let me know if you guys do. I got one here more for the girls with the pink. Very solid also. I talked about these a couple videos ago. I do like this color combination along with that material used on this orange and black one. And it does also come in the brown colorway, which is not bad. Other two colorways, which one do you guys like more? Obsidian. Stop by Foot Locker briefly. See what they had here on deck. First time seeing these 38 lows in store. Uh, last time we saw them was at Nike, but it was a return. They got a full size run left of them as I was talking to one of the guys who works here. Pretty clean. Let me know if you guys are a fan of 38 lows. LeBron 21 Ablon Pearl. Definitely fire. Next gen AMPD. Dope as well. And their Jordan selection here is on point, man. A lot of sleepers. Some things that people might wish they'd scoop up a little bit later down the line. First time seeing the new generation Spizikes. You guys can see Spike Lee's logo right there on the back. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Kind of basic, don't do the justice of the previous Spikes, but I see what they tried to do. First time seeing these in hand. Let me know what you guys think about this, I guess, bread colorway or black and red colorway. Haven't seen these around in a minute, man. They kind of came and disappeared. This one might've actually sold out when it comes to the MBO 2. This is not a bad colorway. Got the suede or new buck on the toe box right there. Gray school sizing, but I definitely didn't see these in men's sizes now. I'm glad I did because I didn't get a chance to see this MBO3. It's the newest colorway right here. Let me know what you guys think about these. That teal and black kind of gives me Charlotte Hornet vibes. I'm not mad at these at all. You got the iridescent stuff going on around the tongue. Definitely clean on these. Rate these from a 1 to 10. And would you pick these up in men's sizes? Color combination on these is kind of different. Let me know if you got a feeling either or not. Not mad at them at all. They also got these on deck too. Seems like every location has these on deck. Pretty solid right here. I've yet to see this color combination. Pretty solid for the women. Let me know if you got a feeling either or not. Definitely pretty clean.